Hello all, welcome to the MATLAB tutorials. In this video, we are going to construct a MATLAB code for verifying the theories of failure. So I have uh, divided the entire code into four parts. First, getting the data, then calculating the combined stress, then calculation of principal stresses, finally verifying the theories of failure. So in the first stage, that is getting data, I am getting all the possible stresses and the Poisson ratio. So as you can see, first I am getting the axial stress as input, then bending stress, shear stress, yield stress and Poisson ratio. So this code will get the input from the command window. So you need to provide the input in the command window. Then second stage is combined stress because in some cases there will be axial stress as well as bending stress. So in that case you have to add both the axial and the bending stresses. So I am calculating the combined stress. Then calculation of principal stress because before we are going to the theories of failure we need to calculate the principal stresses. So we know the mathematical model for principal stress. So I have uh, uh, created the code using the equation. Then theories of failure. So in theories of failure first I am calculating the factor of safety. So actually the theory will be maximum of S1 and S2 means it is sigma 1 or sigma 2 is equal to Sy divided by N. So I am calculating N. So I have uh, taken the Sy and S2 the, to the right side. So factor of safety N is equal to yield stress divided by maximum of S1 or S2. So this code will automatically find the maximum between S1 and S2. So if S2 is the maximum value then it will keep the S2. If S1 is maximum then it will keep the S1. So this N is the factor of safety using the maximum principal stress theory. Now I am using a if condition. So if N is e greater than 1 then the display will be maximum principal stress theory is safe. Else the display will be maximum principal theory is not safe. So similarly I have calculated uh, the factor of safety for maximum shear stress theory. So N is equal to sigma y divided by uh, absolute difference between sigma 1 and sigma 2 that is S1 and S2. So if N is greater than 1 then the theory is safe. If N is less than 1 then the theory is not safe. Then I am uh, using maximum principal strain theory. So according to strain theory the factor of safety N is equal to sigma y divided by absolute S1 minus here G is the Poisson ratio. Initially we have define the value of Poisson ratio. So G into S2. So here also I am verifying the principal strain theory. Then finally I have used uh, the distortion energy theory. So according to the distortion energy theory N is equal to sigma y square divided by absolute sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 and sigma 2. So if N is greater than 1 then the theory is safe. If N is less than 1 then the theory is not safe. So now you can run this. So you can see that this input command will ask for the input in the command window. So I am providing an axial stress of uh, 75 Newton per mm square. Then if there is no bending stress then we can provide 0 for bending stress. Then shear stress I am providing 35. The next input is yield stress. So this is the yield stress of the material. So I am giving 100 and the Poisson ratio of the material is 0 0.3. Okay. So then it will calculate the combined stress, then principal stress value, the, you can visualize the principal stress value in the workspace. So S1 is sigma 1 and S2 is the sigma 2. Then uh, it will calculate the N for each theory and it will verify. So you can see that according to the principal stress theory, then this loading is safe. So according to shear theory, it is not safe. So similarly for principal strain and distortion energy theory is safe. Okay. So based on uh, the nature of the material, you can choose which theory we have to use and we can verify the loading conditions whether it is safe or not. So this is how you can verify the theories of failure using MATLAB. Thank you.